democracy was attacked by insurrections. What BLM and Antifa did is actually much more akin to insurrection. January 6th was a trespassing incident that got out of hand. And they're terrorists, domestic terrorists. She was executed, she was assassinated, she was murdered. The January 6th defendants are being denied their basic human rights. This is an attempt to criminalize conservatives. Well, just because some talking head calls it an insurrection doesn't mean it's one, unless there's a campaign to make it look like one. Welcome back to Wake Up America Weekend. While President Biden this week seemed to again push the idea that somehow we should be defined in this country by our worst moments, here at Newsmax, we have always attempted to be as accurate as possible about the events of January 6th, including condemning the violence and the lawbreaking that occurred that day. Our new documentary film, Day of Outrage, which discusses that day, is going to air again tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we are pleased now to be joined by the award-winning director of this documentary, Jack Thomas Smith, and the documentary's executive producer, Mandy Del Rio. Thanks for uh, for coming on the show this morning. Hi, Tom. Hey, thanks Tom. For thanks us. for having us. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Mandy, I'm going to start with you. Why did you feel the need to make this documentary? Well, um, Newsmax actually contracted us to accurately and fairly um, produce a, a documentary about the events of January 6th and um, what led up to it and the aftermath of that day. Um, and we just feel it's very important to, to accurately and fairly portray what happened. Yeah, and you, and you talk about how uh, the, you know, the media has uh, and, and politicians uh, have, have sort of distorted a lot of the timeline, a lot of the, a lot of the facts, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the stories. Um, and again, we're not uh, in, in any way minimizing the, uh, the violence uh, or, the, uh, or the law breaking that, that occurred that day. Um, but uh, Jack, you know, you did a lot of research on this uh, because we're still learning new things a, a year later about all of that. Um, anything new that you learned while making this film that you think is gonna really stand out to viewers? Oh, yeah. Um, well, first of all, it was not an insurrection. This was a peaceful protest that became unruly uh, and at times violent by some. Um, and, and Tom, I appreciate you saying that, you know, we, we don't stand for violence. You know, we don't support or advocate violence of any kind. Uh, and we actually have a clip of you saying, uh, saying that in the documentary. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a strong supporter of the police. Uh, you know, anyone throws a punch at a cop, they need to be brought up on charges. Uh, but they're also entitled to due process. And that's something that we learned making this documentary is the mistreatment of the J6 detainees. Mm. Uh, they're, 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 their cells are covered in mold. They don't have working toilets. They don't have running water. They're being called white supremacists. And we dive into that. Yeah. Um, and ideally, we would like to do a follow-up documentary on this and, and do a deeper dive into that situation as well. You know, over 700 people were arrested. Less than 10 percent of those cases have actually been adjudicated now. A year a year later, as you point out, a number of these folks are still are, are still in jail awaiting uh, awaiting trial. Mandy, the, the left, they really do like to paint with a broad brush when talking about the people involved. Clearly, some of them deserve to go to jail. Uh, but isn't it an injustice to label all of them racists, terrorists, and into, uh, I I insurrectionists, and, and, and politicize this the way that, that it has been? Absolutely. Um, as, a, as Americans, we are completely entitled to, to the right to protest. Um, the, you know, these people were, uh, you know, there was estimated to be about a million people there um, who were just questioning the integrity of the election. They felt the election was stolen. And as Americans, we have a right to question and to protest. So it's very unfair. Um, you know, our own president labeled these people as, uh, as domestic terrorists and white supremacists and anti-Semites and thugs. And I just that's the wrong message yeah. to to turn on on your you know fellow countrymen and and your Ameri and Americans. It's the, wrong. The, the truth is always so much more 
so much more complicated, and uh, and that's why uh, documentaries like yours, which uh, which take a deeper dive into the issues, are, are always so important. Again, your uh, the day of outrage. It'll be on tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern here at Newsmax. Thank you so much, Mandy Del Rio and Jack Thomas Smith. Appreciate you being here today. Thanks, Thanks so Tom. Lot, Tom.